Subscribe to Witchtube for latest tech related videos. Today I have a USB-C triple monitor docking station which is very versatile and supports 4K output and works both for Mac and Windows. So let's get started. This docking station is from a brand called TOTU. I'll rather spell it out instead of uh, trying to pronounce it in an incorrect way. It is listed on Amazon for 250 US dollar. The price may vary at seller's discretion, so I would advise you to check out the links in the video description for any updates. I have showcased many hubs and adapters and even made workaround videos for a budget triple monitor setup and you'll find all those videos linked at the end of this video. What this USB-C docking station can do is way above all those workaround videos as this has 16 ports so you will not feel limited with what you can attach. Let's start with a brief unboxing. It came in a box like this one. Inside the box there is a user manual, USB-C to C cable. I would advise you to use the included USB-C cable as most of the cheap cables may not have such high speed data transfer capacity. There is a charging brick and the dock itself. Now just seeing the size of this hub along with the power brick right off the bat it seems like this is not meant for portability. If you are looking for a portable option I have reviewed few hubs again linked at the end of this video. Now the first thing that I noticed is the flat design versus the vertical design that you will find with many hubs. Uh, such design has its own advantage, but I prefer this flat design as it can clearly fit in an office table drawer or you can mount it under the office table or like me for convenience you can even fit it right under the display monitor so it does not impede your viewing experience like those stand up docks. Overall the design feels premium and of high quality metal. All the ports have a very precise cutout and more importantly they are well spaced to accommodate even a hefty cable. Speaking of ports, at the front there is a USB 3.0 and a USB 2.0 port along with the audio in and out port plus there is a micro SD and TF card slot. All this is super convenient as unlike in these most budget USB hubs there isn't a lot available in the front. I particularly find the micro SD card slot really helpful for ease with transferring all the filmed footages and having a USB 3 port helps with hooking up an external drive on the go. Now at the back the top line consists of an ethernet port which is again helpful for me to have faster upload speeds than over the Wi-Fi, USB type C 3.0 port which is not for the host but rather to connect any USB C compatible device like hard drives etc. All the other ports are distinctly marked so you can't go wrong like the one USB 3.0, one USB 2.0, power input. Now the USB type C port here is where you can connect the host laptop so keep this in mind. One HDMI port that supports resolution of up to 4K at 30Hz, two display ports that support resolution of up to 4K at 60Hz. So the beauty of this hub is that it supports triple extended 4K monitor setup provided you have the monitor and appropriate cables for that. With all that said let's start testing it out. First thing first you need to head on to displaylink.com forward slash download and from this page go ahead and download the display link USB graphics software for your machine in order to get started. Once downloaded you need to make sure that your laptop's USB-C port has this sign beside it. All the other signs are not supported. I'm using an Asus Zenbook 3 for this video and from my test my laptop is compatible to this dock and is also able to charge via this dock. After that you're all set, let's start hooking up devices to this dock. Please excuse the cable jungle as I'm trying to set this up for the video purpose on my desk. After the video I'm going to move it under the desk for visual aesthetics. Let's start by plugging in my 10TB hard drive to this USB 3.0 port which I need to access all the archive footage. Now let's plug in this USB A to times 4 USB A to this USB 2.0 port to connect more than necessary inputs that requires less consumption of bandwidth like my wired keyboard, mouse, two printers. Now let's connect my Samsung smartphone device connection cable to this USB 3.0 port. 
Now, I'm not yet a big YouTuber to afford three triple 4K monitors, plus I don't game a lot on my system. I use Nintendo for casual gaming. So pardon me for this video, I'll be using two Asus 1080p 60Hz monitor and connect them to this docking station via DisplayPort cables. Now I have a very old Acer monitor that I'll connect to this HDMI port. With all that said, let's connect the power input and finally the cable to my laptop. Let's go ahead and hook it all up to my laptop. There it is, now I have a triple monitor extended setup. It all came up because I have already configured all the monitors from the display settings. Now I'm not a Mac user and I don't own any Mac, but I did ask my friend to try this dock for his setup with a Mac and it did work for him like a charm. But you need to download the DisplayLink USB graphics software. The instructions on their menu for setting up the, with a Mac are pretty clear, so do read them out. However, for Windows users, click Windows plus P button and select Extend or Duplicate or go into the Settings, Display Settings and here is where you can identify and detect attached external monitor. This is my arrangement where my laptop screen is mirrored or duplicated to the monitor 1 and the monitor 2 and 3 are on its left hand side. This allows me to have a smooth transition among all these displays. You can also further manipulate all these settings to your desired way. But the purpose of this video was to show you guys that this dock does the job well of what it's supposed to do for a triple extended setup. Now I have been using this dock for almost a month and I have not even once encountered any thermal throttling or any bottlenecks. The transfer speeds are super fast without any legs and more importantly I can feel the difference between using this dock over those portable docks where I mostly feel limited with the IO. So to wrap this video up with my final thoughts. This dock makes perfect sense if you are a power user who wants to connect triple 4K monitor along with a whole slew of other peripherals without any throttling or compromises. Unfortunately, this is not for portability, so if you are like me who needs a compact dock on the go to attach one or maybe two external display along with other peripherals, then you must check out the video linked at the end. But for gamers, power users or for your ultimate home office setup, I bet this $250 will be a worth spend. I don't know how this will perform long terms as I have not used it for that long of a time but I'll stay active in the comment section. Subscribe so you don't miss out any upcoming videos and check these videos out as you will find them helpful.